Hi, good morning. This is JB Moore Farm. We would like to show you organic farming. So the first time we tried to raise pig, we used just the normal uh, way to raise pig and we found it not so effective. So this time we are trying to apply everything that we've learned with, uh, through research. It's uh, through, uh, practicing biosecurity, giving them proper vaccines and giving them enough water as well as giving them good essential feeds. Uh, this time uh, we noticed that the pig are 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 happy healthy and more playful i think this is uh when they exert more energy they get more hungry and they easily grow so let's notice and observe uh the difference continue to support us help us by subscribing and give us a positive comments thanks bye
Hả? Nga.
Hi, this good morning. This is JB Moore Farm and we are trying to show you what's the difference between organic farm and uh, the normal uh, pig raising uh, management. Um, I learned that the most important thing for um, raising pigs is through uh, doing biosecurity. That's what we're trying to do. Keep uh, our pin as clean as we can and um, we also use uh, pyre sodas, pyre wood sodas, so that um, tr uh, we can keep them warm and uh, don't need to wash them all the time. It minimizes the time to take care of them as well. And also we can save all their dung, all the manure, and make it as a fertilizer for our bananas. So this way, uh, we would like to um, try how effective and efficient this uh, pig raising. The last time we had our first batch, uh, we didn't make it very well. Um, we use cement and very uh, limited space of their pin. And um, when they grow up, they are congested and stressed. So they become fat, but they're not um, heavy enough. The weight are not that much. And we cannot sell them in a big, in a big, uh, very big uh, way, or we can't sell it very well since um, uh, most of the meat shop uh, do like quality meat. Basically, and especially that that time, our pig is basically not able to uh, roam around, and we are also trying to protect them from ESF. So this time, uh, please help us uh, notice the difference, uh, which one is more efficient and effective. Uh, remember, biosecurity, good vaccination, good taking, uh, good ways to take care of them, uh, providing vitamins, provide them uh, good housing and management, and especially making sure that they're not sick by maintaining or uh, practicing biosecurity. Uh, in the pen and in the people that are taking care of it. And I think the most uh, effective way and more uh, helpful is to give them enough or sufficient water and not to mention that you're giving them vitamins. Um, according to BMIG, uh, you don't need to give them a lot of supplements or Umibit or etc. and etc. because their feeds are already um, has all the ingredients and um, vitamins that needed uh if you're using premium that's the best i'm not using premium so you can see my pig is just a regular uh bimic pigs but i can see that they are healthy and they're doing well this time this batch i can guarantee that they're way more better so we'll see it's only the two months and a half so uh the biggest we have it started from uh june 9 so now is uh september 4 so we'll see how far they can go by the end of September 9. And the youngest that we have, we just separate them from the we just separate them from the sow uh, about 5 days ago. So that is just a uh, newly win. Um once again, please help and support us and leave your comments and suggestions below and subscribe. Thank you.